In this video, we'll be looking at homeobox genes. Now, a lot of people find homeobox genes very complicated and they get so thrown off by any question that asks about homeobox genes. However, actually, it's really not that difficult. What you need to know about homeobox genes is basically what they are, which can be summarized in a sentence, and then you need to know some one, one particular example, really, which is Hox genes, that is the homeobox genes found in humans. And then that's pretty much it. So first of all, homeobox genes, they are regulatory genes. And if you remember from the LAC Opron video, regulatory genes meaning they are genes that code for proteins that are involved in DNA regulation. They are about 180 base pairs long. And if we go into a little bit more detail, what they do is that they code for the homeodomain, which is part of a regulatory protein that does the job. And the key function of homeobox genes is that they control body development. So specifically, really, is to say, where do things go? The positioning of body parts. There's an example called the X6 gene, which is a homeobox gene that is found in lots and lots of different organisms and it controls the development of the eyes. So it's telling the eyes to be in front of you or on the side of your head for fish, etc. It's also important to note that these homeobox genes are highly conserved in plants, animals and fungi, meaning that you will find the same types of homeobox genes in all of these three types of organisms. Because homeobox genes are genes that control body development or telling where the organs should go, uh, if it's not highly conserved, then we will get very uh, drastically different things or the fact that uh, there won't be a basic uh, symmetry or structure to any living organisms. It will just be a blob in some sense. Another function, in some sense, that they do is that they regulate mitosis and apoptosis. But know what mitosis would be is the cell division that creates genetically identical cells and it's crucial to growth and repair and asexual reproduction in certain organisms. Apoptosis is technically the opposite of mitosis. It is programmed cell death. So let's say in the beginning, uh, when we are still fetus developing in our mother's womb, you would have webbed fingers. So meaning there'll be tissues between your fingers, uh, kind of like a frog. But as baby develops in the mother's uterus, these webs will broken down by apoptosis, so it's a controlled cell death. So the, um, there'll be signals received telling the uh, cell's uh, lysosome to pretty much burst open, releasing the lysosomes in the cell, and that will degrade all the other molecules within the cell and eventually disintegrate the entire thing. And they do so, respond to internal and external stimuli. For example, uh, stress is one thing. And lastly, apart from the Pax in that I mentioned earlier, which is one example of homeobox genes that control uh, eye development, the one example that you need to be able to state really is Hox genes. Hox genes are basically homeobox genes found only in animals. So for example, uh, if we refer to the homeobox genes inside the human body, we we'll call them Hox genes instead. And we have 39 Hox genes ranged in four clusters throughout different chromosomes. You compare the homeobox genes between different organisms, so you can do it between humans and a tiger and a chimpanzee, or even a drosophila, a fruit fly, you will see that they are highly conserved. They are pretty much the same. They'll be very similar, but maybe in slightly different arrangements for slightly different body parts. So for exam purposes, I would say you need to be able to state what homobox genes or Hox genes are. So give them the definition. They are regulatory genes that control body development and that will be sufficient. You also need to know that they are highly conserved in different types of animals or different types of organisms and that they can regulate mitosis and apoptosis in response to a certain stimuli. And that Hox genes is a name given to homobox genes found in animals. So for the exams, uh, if they give you a picture of a deformed organism, for example, a double-headed cow, they ask you to suggest a reason to explain this um, phenomenon, then you can say something like, perhaps that the homeobox genes or Hox genes of this organism has been mutated. Because homeobox genes are regulatory genes that control body development, a mutation of it will cause a different body arrangement to be made. Otherwise, it should be highly conserved and therefore you get a twin-headed cow rather than a normal looking cow. And that's probably what they will ask you in exams most of the time. Be able to define it and explain it based on the information given and you'll be fine. 